Jonathan with Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome. This is another video post where I answer a commonly, commonly asked question. Today it's going to be, uh, should I build a pizza oven into my outdoor kitchen? And the answer is hell no. Um, there is a big difference between building a built-in pizza oven and a pizza oven that will just sit on the countertop with a relatively minor footprint. Uh, noise above. Um, my first, I'm going to reverse this for a second and ask my viewers out there, anybody, anybody out there who bought a wood, specifically a wood burning pizza oven during the height of COVID. So let's just say back end 20 through 2020 through, um, you know, the beginning of the spring of 2022. Um, I want you to raise your hands if you're still regularly using that oven. Ah, that's what I thought. Silencium. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that they take up way too much room uh, considering how much of a footprint they require. And on the wood burning side, how much um, handiwork uh, and babysitting they require. Um, I really don't have people asking me anymore for pure wood burners with a big footprint. Don't. What I see is folks buying things like the Gosney Dome, now the Arc XL from Gosney, which is actually outselling the dome. And I mean, you're getting the heat, okay, that a wood burning oven would put out, but without the hassle, okay, and also with the ability to move the damn thing around, put it on a cart if you want to. When, when you build in a pizza oven, that is a whole nother animal. And I understand that there is a very, very small niche minority of folks out there who want this and will use this, okay? Um, first of all, you typically, you, when we see these things work, um, it's a very big island. I mean, we're talking, it's a, it's a massive L. Um, there is room to build this thing with counter space next to it to make pizzas and so on and so forth. And I get it that a lot of folks don't even use it for pizza, right? They bake bread in these things. They cook with cast iron skillets, which is actually what I would do for the most part. Um, but you have to understand that if you're going to build one in, think about the process. First, they have to build in what is called the cupola, right? The dome, the shell, and then they have to build the masonry around it. So the masonry adds so much more to the footprint, okay? that it just it just takes up so much room for something that for the majority and i'm saying the vast majority of people they are not going to use this thing with any degree of regularity it may be a trend it may be something that one summer you just go wild with it i get it but over the long haul i'm sorry i'm speaking from experience from talking to a lot of people over the years these things are not used enough to justify the real estate that they take up. And that's probably why things like the dome and to a lesser extent, you know, on the small, way smaller scale side, you know, the uni, uh, the rock box have taken off because there's flexibility with it. Yeah, you're gonna get the, the product, right? You're gonna get decent pizza out of these things, but you can move them around if need be. The same thing with the dome. I mean, listen, if it's taken up too much room after a while, just go get the cart or the stand and, and tuck it away. And that's what I tell, that's what I, I, I really believe. I mean, let's think about it. I mean, if you are gonna do an outdoor kitchen, um, the vast majority of the folks out there are gonna use a side burner, they're gonna use a power burner, or now a flat top, way more than they're gonna use a pizza oven. That's built in. That's just the simple, that's just the way it is. So um, I would never build one in. I, ha I can't remember the last time I was involved with a project that they built the pizza oven in. Um, and, and probably because I, I bad mouthed it. Um, but I'm doing these folks a favor and many of them have thanked me afterwards. They've gone to friends' houses who have these pizza ovens built in and um, all they hear is complaints from friends. This was actually something, and this is top of mind right now because I'm going to a friend's house tonight to watch, uh, uh, watch Inter Milan versus Juventus. And he, you know, he bought the house and they have a built-in oven wood burning oven in the outdoor kitchen. But the thing was built in the late 1990s, okay? I, I see 
um, when I do site surveys and things like that, a lot of these, um, it must have been a trend at that point in the 90s and the early aughts to build the, oh, we have a built-in pizza oven in the outdoor kitchen, fantastic. Really, who's rolling the dough? And uh, I mean, what are you gonna put, like bobbly bread in there? Um, they're just not used. And this um, this particular individual that I'm talking about, my neighbor, is from Italy. He doesn't use it. He goes, if he, he goes hey, if I use it, I make steak in the thing. So um, I'm, I'm, my advice is, if you're thinking about a pizza oven, do not build it in. Get something, get a product that will sit on the countertop, and if you need to, you move it, okay? You either you put it on a stand, you tuck it away, whatever the case may be. Um, that's about it. Any questions, hit me up, questions at rofgrills.com or call 914-361-1837. Better yet, stop in the showroom.